Why HIV's cure is hard to find? Why the immune system is attacked by the virus? In 1983, scientists discovered the virus that causes AIDS. When the first cases of human immunodeficiency virus were detected in the early 80s, almost 33 million people died. According to the United Nations, it is estimated that there are about 38 million people living with this virus. It is really concerning that at this stage we are still so far behind, 38 million people living with HIV. Despite infected people can live with preventions and treatments, a definite cure has not been found yet. But how this virus attacks our immune system? This virus is also known as retrovirus because its genetic material is in RNA and not DNA. Once the virus changes the genetic material, this replicates the host cell's genome, destroying many of them in the process. However, in a period ranging from a few months to several years, in which the patient appears to feel completely healthy, the virus continues to replicate and destroys the T-cells, also called CD4 lymphocytes. The new copies of HIV leave the cell and spread through the body, infecting other cells and reducing the lymphocytes, which consequently cause a deficiency in the immune system. There are also many errors in copies of the genomes, and that is why there's no vaccine to cure this disease. The very successful treatments used to control HIV consist of a combination of antiretroviral drugs that attack various aspects of the HIV life cycle, thus preventing the virus from multiplying and entering healthy cells. With this antiretroviral treatment, patients do not develop AIDS or any other infection. The immune system has a better chance of recovering and fighting infections. For this reason, patients in treatment must follow it for life, so they can have a long life without symptoms. But if the person stops the treatment, the virus reactivates within a short time, which makes it almost impossible to attack while the virus is invisible inside the cell. One of the main reasons why it is difficult to find a vaccine it is its high degree of mutability. Adding that researchers have been working to find a vaccine to cure definitely this disease for decades without success. Eradicating HIV seems to be impossible. However, researchers may be closer than ever to developing a cure. A research approach involves using a drug to activate cells harboring the HIV genetic information. Another approach is to use genetic tools to cut the HIV DNA out of cells' genomes altogether. Besides, an experimental vaccine against the HIV is now reaching the final phase of its clinical trials for the first time in 10 years. The vaccine is being developed by a Belgian pharmaceutical company Janssen, which is a branch of the American company Johnson & Johnson, and it is expected to have results in the next 24 or 46 months and see if the antidote is able to protect people from getting infected in a real situation. We now know that a cure is possible and that there are already plans that would end the HIV epidemic in a near future.